This morning I kind of got in touch with the taxi company that didn't pick my parents up. The messages I kind of wrote were just kind of like, hey, you know, you didn't pick um, my parents up. And they had to walk, their pensioners, my mum isn't like a very strong walker, so rushing to the station didn't do any good. And then they got to the station and missed their train and had to pay £200. What are you going to do about it? Uh, so <laughs> they got back in touch with me and they asked me to just send them the details of where mum and dad live, what time they put the cab for, um, and then they'll just come up with an excuse as to why they didn't pick them up. So yeah, we're going to go to Great Yarmouth, we're going to go see my family again, it'll be a good day. I won't talk to my parents about what I've been doing with the taxi company until a bit later because I don't want to ruin the day by bringing it up. I'll just casually find out, I'll just be like, uh, what time did you order that taxi for? And then be like, oh. the subject, and then I'll dad, then I'll give them then I'll it. give them a call when they leave, and I'll say I've been in touch with them, Dad. <laughs> I don't want to ruin their holiday by going on about this stupid taxi situation. In other news, Tamagotchi news. Oh, they've not really been aware. I I had recorded a lot of uh, videos because the other week I, I went and purchased this Tamagotchi from from Roy's, um, and I'd done a lot of kind of updates and like recordings, and there was like he left lots of turds laying about and we, there was a time when he nearly got run over by an underground train but anyway we have a pet tamagotchi he doesn't have a name and we had named him super hands oh yeah we had named it he's called super hands which i forgot this is him now he's evolved we left him here all day by himself yesterday if you left your keys at home so when we got back last night he was swimming around in his own poop like loads and loads of poop just like his mother <laughs> <laughs> We're terrible parents. Okay, let's go. What's the plan? Are we thinking about going here or did you want to go somewhere else? No, I think we're just going along with that, really. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, we've, we've not really looked around. Somewhere, really. So we're going to go yeah. here today. Oh, Fair Haven. It will be good. So we are here. We're going to walk all around. <laughs> yeah, should we take this big thing with us? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, so they got the little streams up there. No, I know, just... I really like that. It makes me think of like the Jungle Book or something like that. <laughs> Uh, this one is the king oak. Mm, not as good as the queen. That's nice. Spooky. Some of the ways these like trees just kind of twist and. Slow you down. Oh, okay. It's a sign for everyone on the little uh, granny cars. Slow you down, old boy. You'll go crashing into the lakes. Oh my, oh, phew, it smells around here. I wonder if you see any fish or frogs. Just look a lot nicer about the algae, wouldn't it? If you see the little yeah. fish swimming about. You know, if they had something in there, there's little fish and little frogs jumping about. It's not the kind of place they're caring for or like, doing things to them, they you just let them the wild garden. I guess they're just trying to make it seem more natural. Yeah, it really is natural and letting it go to waste, could not they? You know, you think they'd try to. All they showed us is a load of acorn trees. <laughs> <laughs> I'm expecting good things at the lake. They, they <laughs> yeah, that's got to be a seven pound view. That's what I'm expecting.
Yeah. What do you think of this place? You like it. Dad's a little bit disappointed. It's mostly just forests, and uh, we're expecting a few colours and gardeny stuff. Here. Oh, okay. But I think it's because Dad's a city boy. <laughs> Oh, this is when we're coming. That's all this one. Oh. <laughs> Look out for the wombles. Walking through yeah. stuff like this, building tents and. Fair enough. Oh, skunk cabbage. Mm. So <laughs> you could probably smoke that loose. <laughs> It's massive, isn't it? It's just yeah. like, have you ever That's seen quite something? Interesting, isn't it? Well, yeah. Show you from across the river, yeah. Well, nice. Okay, so this is Kingfisher Walk. Yeah. Look out for Kingfishers, Lucy. Yeah, Apparently, this is the part of this entire woodland area they like to hang out. Right. <laughs> just this one area. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the award-winning lake. <laughs> it's close. Oh, whatever. That'll be fine. We can jump over there. <laughs> no, this is the end. Just... Butterfly walk. So we saw no kingfishers on. Okay. Let's find some butterflies. <gasps> There's a butterfly. Where? Oh, my earring. Oh, it's just a picture. Yeah, I like this. I think this is fun. I like kind of just walking around in nature. Like, this is actually what I expected. It would be nice to see a few more butterflies and a kingfisher. This is a better view, isn't it, than the other side? It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a boat house, isn't it? Probably. Yeah. yeah, that must be a... Keep all the old canoes in there and such. Alright, so we're gonna go and... Uh, machines in our kit. Yeah, they've got the old 2P machines and they've got the grabbers there. We could still win something, Lucy. I must warn you, I'm pretty good. I won that, I won. Lucy lost. Alright, let's see who's got the skill now. <laughs> There's no way that's going to pick anything up. Are we serious? That is like the dodgiest looking thing I've ever seen. One pound per play? Oh my god. Such a rip off. I thought it was a quid and you could go until you win something. I know, it's a quid for one go with that rubbish. How are you going to win anything with that kind of a. <laughs> You're not good. Do that again. <laughs> oh. Did you win? No, we lost all our two P's and we did the. They had, um, they had one of them grabby ones, uh, but it is, it's a quid a go. A quid ago and we didn't win because it kind of, it's um, Usually it just, it's two goes. pins and they go mm, mm. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's cut now as well Alright, see you later It's like when I leave my mum, it's like exactly the same angle Is it? It is when she stood on the doorstep oh. Bye, Bye. <laughs>
see you. So yeah, I'm a little sad to say goodbye, but I know we're gonna see him in March, so you know it's not too bad. Doing well. It was harder a long time ago because like felt like we weren't ever gonna see him, you know, it felt like it'll be a year, it could be two years, but well, when it's only a still, case of months. We could still do even a little weekend between now and the end of the year if you really wanted to. Yeah, exactly. It, it don't, it's not as, as upsetting. As long as it's not snowing, then we can, you know, I don't even care about rain, so as long as it's not snowing, we'll get there. It's crossing the road again! I don't know what it is, a great big swan or something? And it's just walking really slowly across the road. <laughs> Look, see, look. Can you see it? <laughs> 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 it's just a in the middle of the road. <laughs> 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 it's been a week since my parents were here and we found out that they kind of got stung for 200 quid because the cab didn't pick them up. Well, my dad just called me and he's told me that he's been given the money back by the taxi firm as a goodwill in cash. So, you know, that's really, good. that's really good of them. I'm really grateful. That's a win. That's a win. Um, and we'll take that. So.